okay uh, we made the remote start and remote unlock and unlock uh, for the Apple product in 2009 I believe we did it with a uh, phone that was a 3GS and then did work very good for us St we started with this box right in here that is the IP power 9258 it's a big box it was using too much power we write the program for the uh, 3GS and what working for us but the amount of the power edge that he was using was very high then in 2011 we start using the different software with the name of the OSC or open sound control that they are selling them in the Apple store we write the program as you see them right in here again it was is working with a uh, this time we were using the uh, Arduino. I explain how this Arduino does work. The software that we write right in here, they call them Open Sound Control or OCS. We write this little software for it. It has a lock button, unlock button, and a start button. It get, get the feedback from the vehicle too that if the vehicle is on or off, and if the vehicle coming on after three minutes, if you don't, if it's unattended, it's gonna go off. To turning on the car, you have to hold this button first till activating them and then the, uh, push the start switch till the uh, vehicle coming on. We're going to show the demo of this one later on. I'm just going through this. So later, uh, later on, at the beginning of this year, we came up with another idea uh, that we can, they call them passive uh, key control. Uh, means every time that we get close by to the, our vehicle, we want the vehicle get unlocked. And every time that we get away from the vehicle, we, wa we want the vehicle get locked. To do so, we couldn't use the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi system that we do have that is using this server right in here or this router, mini router, it has a range of about 100 yards or 150 yards. You don't want to uh, automatically lock or unlock your vehicle from that distance. You want to be much closer. To do so, we start using the feature of the Bluetooth. One of the problems that the Bluetooth has is a range, but it's going to be some sort of a blessing for our project. Why? Because we want them much closer. We want to be right by vehicle uh, almost when the door getting locked or unlocked. To doing so, we bought the new uh, device. It came up to the market. They call them Light uh, Blue Bean. This device is, is battery operated with a 3.3 volt. Of course, you can use your own power supply. And the nice thing about it, it has similar to the Arduino. You can use the same code that you do have for Arduino to use, you know. In, uh, in, uh, on the same board, you do have the little board that is working uh, for the Bluetooth. So you can communicate with, a, with a, this board via the Bluetooth. You don't need to go to the serial port anymore. It does have some other feature like the accelerometer and it has a te temperature sensor and uh, some other feature around we don't use you know for this purpose of this uh, project we just using the Bluetooth feature and the Arduino so we write the program for this one we load them up inside of one of these and we put them in the vehicle so we write another software right in here for controlling that Bluetooth that is going to be I'm just going to launch them up and put them up that you can see now let's see, see if I can find them first what is the uh, did you move on? Right there. Okay. This is the software that we did for Bluetooth. Uh, we add some feature to it. You can lock or unlock when it get connected to the Bluetooth. As you see right now, the unlock button is de-highlighted. It means it shows as a gray. When you are in a range, it's changing to the white. But mainly you don't want to use this feature to lock or unlock. You just want to use the auto feature that it has because you must be very close to the vehicle till you can use this feature. So we all the time launching this software and we leaving them in the background. So when it's running in the background, any time that you get, all the time is looking for the Bluetooth that is inside the vehicle. And any time that you get in a uh, range, the system, uh, Bluetooth system is going to unlock the door for you and if you're getting away from it It's going to automatically lock it in the, you do have, we do have another feature right in here We put a little button right in here. You can select it to the driver's side or all doors That means 
If you get close to the vehicle, you can open all doors or you can just open the driver's side. We will show you this one in action too. So let me just talk a little about power consumption. The software that you install in your phone, this, this is iPhone 5S. This can be installed in any phone that is going to be uh, 4S and higher because you do need to have the Bluetooth 4.0 or they call them BLE, Bluetooth Low Power Energy because this system is continuously running and you don't want to drain your battery. So let me just talk a little about the Wi-Fi system that we do have. As I explained, it's using this little router, mini router. We connect into it. You supply the power to it. You connect in this one to the first layer that is going to be, this is the shield. All of this is the shield Arduino. The first layer is the Ethernet. The middle one is a four relay. And the bottom one is Arduino board. So we just connect them right in here. You're giving them the power supply. The power supply that you're giving it to the Arduino is going to give a power supply to the, all of these boards. We will show you this one in action too. So we do have two separate systems. One is a Bluetooth that is working in a short range and one is going to be the Wi-Fi for the long range. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. We're going to go out. I'm going to connect the... I'm just going to go right in here, turn on my Wi-Fi and connect them to the vehicle. Uh, first, let's just, yes, it's already connected, so I'm just going to launch the software that is going to be OSC or Open Sound Control. When we're going to go close by to the vehicle and see how this thing is going to work. That you, can, you guys can be able to see. We don't need actually to be that close to the vehicle, but to see the action, how this thing does work. So I'm just going to lock the door right now. Uh, let me just... Okay. Okay, the reason this thing doesn't respond right now because the key is still is in a vehicle. If I do have a key inside the vehicle, neither one of these features is not going to work. It means you cannot lock the door, you cannot unlock the door. I have to take the key out of the vehicle before everything starts running. Let me just go ahead and get the key out of the vehicle. Okay, now the key is out of the vehicle. Now we're gonna try the Wi-Fi first. I'm gonna lock the door, unlock the door, lock, unlock, and then I'm gonna turn on the vehicle. With holding this, pressing this, the vehicle is coming on and he said the engine is on. To turning on the vehicle, you have to hold this safety switch and press on the red button. To turn them off, you don't need to. The minute that you touch this switch, the vehicle is going to go off. Of course, as I said, the range of this system is about somewhere between 100 till 150 yards in a direct view. And if you're inside your building, it's going to work in a 50 yard with a multiple wall in between. So now we're just going to go to the showing you. Let me just go to the distance and show you how this thing works. I'm just going to go to the street and show me what I'm wearing in the street. Turn on the vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna lock the door, unlock the door, and turn the vehicle on and off. Okay, I'm saying right now we are about uh, somewhere in a 90 feet, so about about 30 yards away from the vehicle. So I can lock the door. You can see it. Unlock. You can see the LED that is on the mirror and the front of the car again lock and unlock. I'm going to turn on the vehicle again. I have to push the safe switch right in here and start. Vehicle is on. If we don't go ahead and touch the vehicle for about three minutes, the system is automatically goes off. But if you want to turn them off, you just turn off the system like this. Now I'm just going to go back and show you the other feature that we install on this uh, system a parallel system that is working based on Bluetooth. Okay, this is the parallel system that is working with a Bluetooth. If I lock the door, I'm just gonna get the message right in here. It said door, is it lock, door lock. And if I press them, it said door unlock. So I can put them in all door. If I said unlock, all of the door get unlocked. If I say lock, all of the door get locked. Unlock, all of the door are unlocked. So we are going to get away from the vehicle right now. See how far we got to go before the door automatically get locked.
Okay, now the door got locked. Yeah, go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold the picture, show the picture. Now, as you see, this is not highlighted anymore. You hold this thing and get, get close to the vehicle that we can see when the vehicle is going to come up. Keep going. Get the phone a little closer because the shadow doesn't show the picture. Well. Okay, now the door got unlocked. And show this one. You can see the unlock is highlighted. Show the light on the vehicle. The back of the vehicle, you can see the back light on the uh, cargo area is on. Okay, so now let's just go closer to the truck. I'm going to open the door and show how we install all this system in it action you just come from the passenger door i'm just going to get in there from the driver's side door and by your way get up and i'm going to explain in the next section the feature that it you don't need to close the door just leave the door open the feature that it has whenever it's going to unlock the door in any of this with a wi-fi or bluetooth if you don't get to your vehicle in about 45 seconds or so the door get unlocked again so we install all the system we do have right in here this is the server that we install right in here wi-fi mini router that we install right in here and beside it that is the right in here gonna be light blue beam and I do have a little antenna for it right in here to get a better range because the Bluetooth has a very small range you must be almost buy it but after I install this antenna I can be about maybe three feet away from my car and the door get unlocked I install everything right in here as you can see this is gonna be the three layer that we do have right in here is Arduino relay and the top layer it's going to be for the ethernet for arduino and the uh, bluetooth as i explained is right there it came in and connected i do have a little switch right in here that i can turn the whole system off or on and everything is going to get powered up with a usb that's the whole system is about that's it uh, as far as the power consumption as i explained them it's going to take you six seven days nine days till the battery completely get discharge if you don't turn on your vehicle if you're turning on your vehicle every other day or every three days you shouldn't be worried about it and as far as the battery consumption on your phone i don't see that much a different i almost charging my phone every day and it's also the same amount too so you can run the bluetooth uh, remote in a background and leaving them on all the time in that case, uh, every time that you get close to your vehicle, the doors get un unlocked and whenever you get away from it, the door get locked. Is there anything else that I was going to talk about it? Okay, the cost, the cost of this Bluetooth uh, light, uh, uh, light blue uh, bean, the price of this is about 30 bucks. Uh, of course this uh, server right in here or mini router right in here is about $30 and then uh, each one of these cost about $20 each one of this uh, shield and Arduino so about $60 right in here plus $30 for this about $90 you need another $10 wiring and the other stuff and the system is going to work again and I explain because I didn't want to do so much wiring on my vehicle because it's a newer vehicle is this, this is a 2013 uh, Tundra I use one of the fob or they call them frequency operating button so all of this relay is going to control that fob and that fob is going to live inside my car let me just show this one to bring the camera back let me just show it to them how this thing does work see this is the fob I brought the wiring out and I connect them to the relay that I do have that it can do the job for me of course if somebody is going to be worried about the security if somebody get already inside my car and get a hang on that fob is already inside i don't know why what's going to be used for it so uh, the bluetooth does have whenever you want to do the pairing it does have needed six digit for pairing and beside that i do have another 64 uh, better code in top of it that uh, nobody can um, break in through the system and unlock the door 
I'm going to launch the software and put them in the background and then we're going to get close to the vehicle to see what is going to happen. We're supposed to get the uh, push notification right in the top. We got the push notification and the door get unlocked. And the one more thing that I want to mention about this system, the Bluetooth that we install in here is not going to interfere with uh, your headset that you do have of, or in case you're connecting your phone to your radio on your vehicle as I'm doing it. They are not going to interfere with each other. They are two completely different systems and they're working. But remember that your phone is supposed to be equipped with a 4.0 Bluetooth or higher. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know if we do have any higher right now, but it's supposed to be 4.0. So you can use the iPhone 4S and 5, 5S and recently 6 came out. So that's about it. One more thing that I need to mention about the Bluetooth system that we installed. They are continuously the phone and the uh, sensor that we do have in a car that we call them light blue. Uh, being they are looking for each other when they find each other they're gonna react and they just react once so when they find each other they unlock the door once and when they get out of the range it just locked the door once so that doesn't mean continuously is locking the door or continuously is unlocking the door when you are in a range or when you are out of the range that's about it they do have two type of software we write the for the uh, phone we use the X code we do have some code we got them from the internet and we add our own code on it. This is using the X code. I put all the button right in here. Oh, by the way, that blue, light blue, uh, light blue beam has another sensor for temperature too. Every time yeah, it's sending the signal for lock or unlock, it's updating the temperature that it shows. What is going to be approximately temperature in your vehicle too in Fahrenheit. So we using this. Software right in here and for the Arduino, I already have the code. If I see enough interest for it, I'm going to put both of those code plus the software that we have for the OSC. You can buy that software through the uh, Apple store is about $4 and I can uh, upload the software for this OSC in case if you want to install the Wi-Fi system and you'll be able to lock on lock and turn on your vehicle from the distance of the 150 yard or so all right show this thing we do have the same software for the ipad for the osc right in here you can launch them you can see you no know, i can put this uh, software that it been installed on the osc uploaded to the youtube if it's going to be any interest on it the same thing for the iphone and beside that i'm going to have one for the x code that is going to be for the bluetooth that is going to be installed on the phone of course i don't know how can i give you that uh, software because you, i did not release it to the apple store uh, and it's a two sketch one sketch uh, is for the bluetooth that is going to be installed on the light uh, blue beam and the other sketch is going to be for uh, arduino so total of the four software need to be uh, uploaded to the youtube if it's going to be any interest on them that you can install them uh, on the phone and the uh, receiver or transmitter, you can call them transceiver, uh, Arduino and light blue being on your vehicle.